on. No more uh, comments from people. All right, Nick, you like Netflix. I, I like do. Netflix. Yeah. Uh, what if I... I'm this close to canceling cable at this point? I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, because even the shows that are With on the cable, exception of the WWE Network, which isn't available online here, yeah. where you can just have an online one and just kind of watch. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't keep watching Netflix all the time. It's just it's a little bit too much. And now on top of that, because I, I mean I do have a day job. Yeah, you know, and it's really tough binging because uh, otherwise everything else goes to hell. Uh, Netflix wants to put out a thousand originals by the end of 2018. That's a Big goal to have. Okay, and and let's let's put some things yeah, into perspective. It, when you told me this too, because I yeah. was like, how much can they talk about or yeah. do as? It, but okay, go go ahead and explain it, because yeah. So um, I'm reading this from slashfilm.com. So www.slashfilm.com. Uh, Netflix plans to hit a thousand originals by the end of 2018. Now, what is a Netflix original? A Netflix original can be um, a few different things. One. Obviously, they produce it themselves. Mm -hmm. Everything from start to finish is purely Netflix, which you've seen, like your Ozarks. Um, I think Dark was their first German official Netflix release. uh, And they've got a bunch of other stuff, right? Uh, Stranger Things isn't actually 100%. Netflix, from what I understand. Oh, okay. Then they've got a lot of their foreign stuff, which I really enjoy, and it's been crushing it. They, those aren't actually Netflix originals. Uh, Money Heist, Babylon Berlin... Um, which Money Heist is also called La Casa de Papel, The Mechanism, which is another one. There's a whole string of them. Okay. Um, those aren't Netflix originals. What those are is, hey, we want to distribute that on our Netflix platform. We'll pay you a certain amount for distribution. And what do they do? They say, sure, go ahead. And then they slap Netflix original on there, oh, which is okay. a little bit misleading. Yeah. That's just that's just my thing. Yeah. Um, and then there's some of the stuff that they do co-produce. Um, Scorsese is coming out with a film called The Irishman, which I think is going to be I'm, I'm super stoked for. Uh, and that's strictly Netflix. Then there was a new one that's out right now called Safe. It's on a weekly basis. They're actually going like with the way the cable does, which oh. I'm I'm enjoying because again, I cannot binge anymore. It's yeah. crushing me. It's, it's helping co-produced. you schedule your time a little no, bit better. Exactly, yeah. It's co-produced <laughs> okay. with Canal Plus. It's a French British American crime drama. Okay. But a thousand, man, that is that's way too much content. Yeah. I think what they're trying to do is just like uh, establish themselves and and continue to be like the number one provider for, you know, subscription-based TV. I I think that's uh I mean, it's a bold statement to make whether they make it or not. I mean, Clearly, they're doing well enough, even if they're able to, you know, buy rights for or produce on their own, like to have a thousand. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think they've said that number just for the sake of saying it. Like, yep. clearly, they have the ability and the uh, the income behind them, the revenue stream where they could afford to have that many, you know, TV series, whether distributed or produced directly from them yep. to be a part of it. Like, that's that's incredibly Im- impressive for what is it now? Like it's ten bucks a month. Like it's something like that. Yeah, yeah. it was originally um, eight. I don't know if it's much. It, I know it's gone up since, but like. Well, they, they, yeah, they're they're already look. Back in February, Netflix. So in, in the slash film thing, it revealed its intention to release seven hundred, mm-hmm. and they're already on track, and they're on track to hit the thousand wow. uh, total original. Well, and here it says. To hit 1,000 total original movies, TV shows, and other productions, this happens just as Disney, Fox, and other big companies are beginning to vacate the streaming service uh, right away. Hmm. Like, I just think my worry, my concern is that none of it is going to be special anymore. Um, and, I, and I was watching um, Screen Junkies News talk about this, and one of the guys on there was saying, they're like, before, when it was a Netflix original, you were it, it had prestige to it. Yeah. Now... And there's a lot of stuff that they release that's not very good. Yeah. Like all the Adam Sandler stuff, I do not care for. Yeah. And so to do this with a thousand, and then when I think about Scorsese giving the money to do his movie, it just feels like for a guy like him, even though the, the they wouldn't give him the budget outside, he's just going to get lost in the shuffle. The rating yeah. system's all off. Nothing really is. Like I don't find a lot of stuff that, um, it, it, like the recommended stuff for me is always off. Like yeah, something, a lot of it's really weird. I agree. Yeah, and their algorithm, I think, is based on not best rated or anything like that. It's kind of on their streaming numbers in terms of subscriptions. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a lot of shit. 
I mean, I, I agree on the uh, the suggestions part, especially now. Like, you and I are both watching Evil Genius. I don't know. Did you yeah, end up finishing it? I finished it? it today. Yeah. Like, so, and, and again, now that you mentioned that, like, now I'm getting, you know me, I'm not, like, a horror guy. Yeah, yeah, I do not like horror movies. It's just, but that not, one's just real. not me. That one's real. It's a yeah. documentary. Yeah. But, like, now my suggestions are all these horror movies. Yeah, and it's it like was, it was a scary kind of because it was a scary kind of a thing. Maybe you should Although, start watching some horror. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. Although you did a really good uh, podcast on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with friend, a mutual friend of ours yeah. uh, named Brett, who's a big horror fan. Um, we it's on our it's on Apple Podcasts. For some reason, the logo isn't showing up, which is a big pain in the ass. It's this big purple block. And I don't know why. So if you maybe that's your new logo. Yeah, maybe Um, we had a really low budget for logos. Super low. Um, But yeah, we were talking about horror movies and stuff like that. Uh, Netflix has produced some. They had um, the Veronica movie that was pretty, you know, pretty popular, but it wasn't as scary as they said it was going to be. I don't know. I just think this is a lot. I definitely will not be able to get to at least a percent of this. Yeah, that's way too much TV. Yeah, I don't know. And, And I mean, and if it's working for them. It's working for them. Good for them. Yeah.